Wait a second, this can't be right. <sighs> huh. Oh well, I'm Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and I guess it's time for another Pocket Now durability report, this time with the iPad Air. Let's start with a couple of disclaimers. I have owned this iPad Air ever since launch date, so that means I've been using it for the last couple of weeks. I have owned every iPad that's been launched, ever since the iPad 1 up to the iPad mini without the Retina display. And so far, I will admit that I'm not really a tablet fan, but I do feel that Apple figures it out best when it comes to tablets. I'm not saying that iPads are perfect. I'm just saying that these are the tablets that fit the most for my lifestyle. Obviously, your mileage may vary. Now, that being said, I do baby my devices. I don't throw them on the floor, I don't drop them, that just doesn't happen to me. Um, I don't buy cases, but I do make sure that whenever I carry them, like my laptop, I do have a sleeve for its backpack. I do have a sleeve for this iPad whenever it's been carried on the backpack as well. So even though I don't baby them while I carry them with me, I do make sure that I do take care of them all the time. So I would consider myself to be a good user. I haven't really had any problems with any of the iPads that I've owned in the past. And yes, I will admit that one of the biggest reasons why I got the iPad Air was because I loved its build quality. I fell in love with the iPad mini up to the point where I turned it on and didn't see a retina display. And the biggest reason why I got the iPad Air was because I wanted that design with the retina display and this was the first tablet to offer it. So yeah, I will admit I am happy with my purchase of the iPad Air so far. Now sadly, not everything has been perfect. You will notice that one of my biggest problems with the iPad Air, and this is actually the first time that I've ever had a problem with an iPad, is these two marks that I have on the display, which could be dead pixels or any sort of problem with the display. Now, that being said, I don't use screen protectors. I, again, I don't really know what happened. I haven't dropped this tablet yet. And the only reason why I use this smart cover is not really because I want to protect the display because, again, I haven't really had any problems with it. For me, the biggest reason is just to have something to stand the iPad whenever I want to be using it on a table. But again, not really for screen protection. So I'm really annoyed at the fact that I have no clue where these marks came from. I really don't know what happened. I have nothing in my backpack that could have ever, you know, leveraged this problem. So I really don't know what's going on with Apple's in-cell technology on these IPS displays. Now, another issue that I've had with this tablet is with the chamfered edges. I do not know where these two dents on the sides came from. Uh, with the iPad mini, I've owned it for a year and I have not had any issues with the metal. But then on this iPad, Again, I haven't dropped it and I have two dents on the side and it could be that within the backpack It probably hit something while I was driving probably the backpack shifted from side to side It was probably when I was traveling over here I still do not know where those dents came from But this just proves that this tablet was probably made with a thinner sheet metal to keep the weight down When compared to the iPad mini because again, I've treated the iPad mini the same and I haven't had any issues Now interesting in the case of the iPhone 5 in the past we did see that the chamfered edges were we're having a lot of trouble, but since I got a second lot device in the case of the iPhone 5, apparently they used the tougher sheet metal for that phone, and I didn't have any problems with the chamfered edges. So it could be, again, that this iPad mini is just using a thinner sheet to keep the weight down which is rather unfortunate. Now, that being said, there is an advantage to owning Apple products if you live in Europe or in the United States, and that's the fact that there is an Apple store with a Genius Bar. And the good thing about this Genius Bar is that in the case of these marks in the display, which I still haven't figured out where they came from, or in the case that you have a single line scratch in the display, these things are covered by the warranty. All you have to do is set up an appointment at any Genius Bar in an Apple store, and they will swap this product for free. I've done it in the past with a scratched, uh, iPad that a friend of mine had. I took it to a store and they swapped it immediately. They give you a new product, by the way. They can't just replace the display, which is actually a good thing. So we could say that Apple does offer a solution. If you're having problems with the display in any way, just take it to an Apple store and swap it. And even though I'm not in the United States right now, I'll have to wait for this to happen. I'll have to put up with these two marks so far. At least I know that I have that advantage in the future. So we could say that these are points in favor of the iPad, or if you could say so. Overall, we could say that my experience with the iPad Air has been positive when it comes to the experience, even though I'm not really a fan of iOS 7 on a tablet. Um, again, the design of this tablet is beautiful. The feel of this tablet in the hand is great. 
But sadly, it seems that the product is not durable enough, and even though there is a solution, just go to an Apple store and swap it. Really, I don't live in the United States. I don't want to have to go swap it. I would rather have a product that doesn't have these issues. So again, it could be a usage problem. It couldn't be. So please leave us a comment down below. My question to you is, what problems have you had with your iPad Air? Have you had problems with the display? Uh, have you had the same problems with dents that you don't know where they came from? Please leave us a comment down below and share your experience. Obviously, I'm going to have to wait till my next trip. I think it'll be when I go to MWC in Barcelona, where I have to go to an Apple store and swap it but leave us a comment down below tell us your experience with the ipad air again mine has been mixed so far i love this product but i don't know what's happened to it i haven't had these problems with ipads in the past that's it for our ipad air durability report make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our youtube channel as well you can also follow me on twitter jaime underscore rivera please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw i am jaime rivera thank you very much for watching we will see you again on the next video